Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how automated investigation and response works in Microsoft Defender for 365. So uh, we all know that when security alerts are triggered, it's up to the security operations team to look into those alerts and take steps to protect the organization from that alert. Sometimes security operations teams can feel overwhelmed by the volume of alerts that are triggered. Here comes automated investigation and response capabilities in Microsoft Defender for three, Office 365, which will help. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay. I am logged on to the portal and if you scroll down, and come to email and collaborations you click on investigations in here you see automated investigation and uh, response capabilities enable you to run automated investigation process so this feature will allow operations teams to operate more efficiently and effectively because AIR capabilities include automated investigation process in response to well-known threats that exist today so appropriate remedial actions await approval enabling the security ops team to respond to detected threats let's take an example wherein a user reported fish, me fish message uh, launches an investigation playbook okay now suppose that a user in the in your company receives an email that they think is a phishing attempt the user is well aware of such messages and it uses the Microsoft report message or report phishing add-ins to send it to uh, Microsoft for analysis. Now the submission is also sent to your system and is visible in the Explorer in the submission. So if you will see the uh, submissions here, it will, when a user will submit it, you will also see it under submissions tab. So now when you are doing a root investigation, various aspects of the email are assessed now these aspects include a determination about what type of threat it might be who sent it where the email was sent from or the sending infrastructure whether other instances of the email were delivered or blocked an assessment from the SOC engineer analysis or whether the email is associated with any other known campaigns or and much more now, after the SOC analyst has completed root investigation, the playbook provides a list of recommended actions to take on the original email and the entities associated with it. For example, you might see malicious files, malicious URLs and recipients. Okay. Next, several threat investigation and hunting steps are executed. Now, this AIR, what it will do, I'll scroll down so what this AIR would do it will identify similar email messages okay and then that signal is shared with other platforms such as Microsoft Defender for endpoint a determination is made on whether any user have clicked through any malicious links in those special email messages a check will be done across Exchange Online Protection and Microsoft Defender for Office 365 to see if there are any other similar messages reported by the users. A check is done to see if a user has been compromised. Okay, this check leverages signal across Office 365. Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps and Microsoft Entra ID. And during this hunting phase, risk and threats are assigned to various hunting steps. Now the remediation is the final phase of the playbook. Now during this phase, uh, remediation steps are taken based on the investigation and hunting phases. Okay. Now there are many examples wherein another example would be a security administrator triggers an investigation from the threat explorer. Okay, or a security operation team integrates AIR with their SIM 
or Sentinel or any other SIM using the Office 365 Management Activity API. Okay. Now, the next steps for you will be to get started using AIR. Okay. And view pending or completed remediation actions in your current infrastructure if you have access to see how those uh, remediation actions in Office 365 look, what kind of options they have in terms of remediation actions in Office 365, whether you have uh, an approval or rejection type of pending actions, you have an incident queue in which you see those alerts, if you have an action center on which you see the pending submissions, okay. And then you will see the uh, the investigations queue, which will show you uh, the threat investigation or the status if it is in pending action. Okay. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any other queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.